Hi, my name is Charlie. I'm a zookeeper in the mammal department here at the Detroit Zoo. I work with the giraffes. So Zara here is our youngest giraffe. She's three and a half years old. She's also our smallest giraffe at 1,300 pounds. Um, she's playful and curious and pretty outgoing. And she spends most of her time with Mapenzi, who's quite a bit larger than her, but she doesn't let her small stature uh, stand in the way of being independent from him. So Mapenzi here is our youngest male. He is six years old. Um, he is shy at first, but once he opens up, he can be a bit playful and he has a knack for mischief. Um, he likes to spend most of his time with Zara, though he does also spend time with his mother, Kavuli. Um, he was born here uh, to Kavuli and Jabari. And every now and then you'll be able to see Mapenzi and Jabari necking or sparring with their necks with one another, but they can also be quite affectionate to one another as well. So Kavuli is our oldest female. She's going to be 12 on the 19th of June. She is an independent giraffe. Um, she does like to get, she gets along well with everybody. Um, Zara and Mapenzi are often glued to her side when they're all together. So any chance she can get to be by herself, she seems to enjoy. Jabari is our largest male. He is 14 years old. He's also our largest bull at just over 2,600 pounds. Um, Jabari in Swahili means brave, and he definitely lives up to that name. He's very curious and outgoing. So our day starts early. We come in at 6 o'clock and we check on the giraffes first thing in the morning to make sure everybody is he healthy and happy. Um, then we'll start cutting the browse for the day. So we'll cut down branches from various plants around the zoo and we'll bring them back to the habitat and we'll hang them up. We'll also put out any enrichment for them for, for the day. Um, and then we'll begin cleaning the yard of waste from the day before and any browse branches that they have eaten all the leaves off of. Then usually in the morning we'll do a short training session. So we use training to let the giraffes be an active participant in their care. So for example one of the behaviors we train is having them place their hoof on a wooden box so we can visually and manually inspect them to make sure they don't need any trimming or they need to be cleaned or anything like that. So after we've trained, we've put food and enrichment and browse out in the yard for them, we will let the giraffes out for the day. And then we'll start the work of cleaning the building and putting down fresh food and browse inside. We try to replicate their wild diet as much as we can here. So giraffes are the world's largest browser, meaning they'll selectively feed from leaves, twigs, and bark of various species of trees and shrubs. So that means that every day we cut a large amount of browse or branches off of various trees around the park and we'll bring them here and hang them up in their habitat for them to pick at throughout the day. Um, on top of that, they also get alfalfa and leafy greens like endive, escarole, romaine, dandelion greens. They also get a variety of produce like pea pods and sweet peppers. And also we feed them a high fiber pelleted diet that is specially formulated for wild herbivores. So our giraffe habitat here has several trees and tall posts scattered within it and around it. So that allows us to hang browse and enrichment items at a level that's appropriate for their tall stature. Um, we also have these planter boxes on the side of our building that grow grapevine. And so eventually the grapevine will be spilling over and they'll be able to use their 20 inch long tongues to pluck leaves off of that. Um, inside, in their indoor habitat, the substrate is uh, decomposed granite, which is kind of a sandy gravel, and that helps to keep their hooves from becoming overgrown. 